I promise this last week I will promote a lot my book and I will do it. You like it or not? Quite some years ago I arrived, I arrived in United States and I bring my suitcase, some books in there because I not was sure what I will do with the rest of my life when you arrive in a different country with your suitcase and you can go back to your to you can go back to your home. Uh, so I no I, I was in on this uncertainty about what I'm going to do with my life. So whatever I'm gonna do, I will have my books with me. So I bring some amulets, um, some crystals, stuff, um, and. I was working. I have the idea of this book from four or five years before I make a proposal of this book in Spanish for many uh, small publishers and two large publishers in Latin America, but they are more interested in translate books from English to Spanish than make original books in Spanish, right? Very complicated. So I sent this proposal to the publisher. They accepted the proposal in like two weeks and I'm not lying about it. This was like the fast response ever uh, because in Venezuela I had the opportunity to make other books with the small publishers, uh, the small printings like 500 copies of this book, 800 copies of this one. Um, so, but always take time. So when a publisher responds in just two weeks, it's like, is the universe moving right? Uh, so I sent this proposal about charm bags and mojo bags. We started to work on the book practically immediately. When I sent the proposal, it was I think that most of half half of the book was ready. I have all the recipes. I just need to put uh, you can listen the cars, right? Uh, it's rainy and I like the, the sound of the rain. So I have everything open here. Um, so I wrote this book. Uh, the one thing that my editor says to me was, we need to put some kind of introductions, like to explain the story about each recipe, each section of the book, blah, 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 blah. blah. And I did it. Uh, for publishing, publishing themes, uh, in the edition, many things were caught. So it's many stories that no was in the end. Um, I'm talking about this book because I'm talking and talking and not showing. The Magical Art of Crafting Charm Bags, uh, published with, with Red Will Weiser books in 2017. Uh, the, the thing, this book has many stories uh, that I didn't have the opportunity to put here because when you work with a big publisher, uh, you know it's a limited space pages, um, you can't put all together. And I'm very talker. I have stories for each charm bag in this book. If you ask me about uh, each recipe here, probably have a story about it. Because this was not years, it was like 20, more than 20 years compiling all of these recipes in my country. Uh, traveling around, even when I have the opportunity um, being younger to travel to other places in and out of the country. I continue compiling different recipes in different, uh, in different places. When I was initiating one or another tradition, I create more recipes using the information that I acquired from that tradition. When I was initiating spiritualists, all my charm bags are starting to have a little more complicated uh, ritualistic um, consecration and when I have the opportunity to be initiating candomblé and look me I put more information together so this was the kind of magic that I really like because you can be ceremonial you can be uh, you can use practical magic you can use natural magic but in whatever is your path or your tradition you always find some way of uh, of charm bag with different elements depending on the tradition they just adapt and we have put so many names on these charm bags, mojo bags, gri gri, gri grises bags, bolsas amuletos, saquitos in Mexico we call them bolsas amuletos in, in Venezuela and they are very common in the esotericas and botanicas uh, 
I'm very proud of the work of this book. We made a cover together in my home. Uh, it was very funny because you see all of the charm bags and the candles and all of this. Uh, we were running with time and the cover note was ready. So the publisher asked me to make a picture of a red charm bag made by me and they will put the picture together. Uh, they will put the picture in the cover, in a small space in the cover. And I am Capricorn. I am very perfectionist. Uh, if you ask me for water, I will offer you five different types of water with different flavors. You want sugar or salt in your water? You want lemon in your water? You want, you want something special in your water or just water? What kind of water? Warm? Cold? I am like that. So, my husband and I, we just put together everything that I had in home in that moment. Oils, uh, charm bags, candles. This was the charm bags that I was in that moment selling. Uh, uh, when I, I come with visa. So I with, with a visa to the United States. So I was selling charm bags in a plaza. And this was the charm bags that I had for that day. You, you can see the whole picture, but they were like six in different colors. I have a whole bag of charm bags uh, next to my room to sell that day. Uh, the people really like it. Uh, they are very effective. I know that because people always come back to ask for more. So immediately we just put all together. We create the setup, we put the charm bags together, we light some candles and stuff. Even the smoke that you see here, this was super funny because uh, I was, I think that was me with the camera in my hands and my husband was next to me. We tried to close the window and he was smoking a lot of incense around. And we could barely break. Uh, was a pretty awesome adventure. was so funny. But in the end, we have so many recipes. Even if you see these little bottles here, these little bottles of oils that you see here and the roses is because sometimes I sell the charm bags with a little bottle of oil so people can consecrate their own charm bag in their home. Uh, so I give you the charm bag with the oil and with some herbs if you want to consecrate the charm bag in your home or do some kind of protection or put this under your pillow or put this next to your window or put this uh, inside um, under the seat of your car. Uh, so I just put all of these things I have together. We take so many pictures. We take that day like 300 pictures. Uh, different angles, different perspective, with different light, with different um, incense. The first incense that we put, the smoke was very black. <laughs> uh, so take a lot of work. Also the cover. Obviously, I do the recipes. It's many stories here. Um, one of my favorite sections here is I put some charm bags for... I, I, I really love my book because it represents a lot about my country and about my culture and even about my language and my perspective of the world. Uh, I put, for example, these charm bags for, uh, to attract opposite sex or charm bags to attract the same sex. Um, because in all my traditions, uh, even in the modern times uh, with, the, with this queer movement and everything else, it's important to remember that I come from a different country where the culture is very, is very different. We don't give for granted the sexuality of the people. So I try to develop some kind of charm bags using herbs or using different crystals that represent different kinds of energy and put all of that together. Other thing is I have this chapter with charm bags for the chakras. I say this story many times. I have this Argentinian friend. She's a Reiki healer, an energy worker. She works with auras and she travels many times to Venezuela. And I take a class of her about chakras. And she was talking about the different crystals and the stones that you put in your chakras or the different herbs that you use to clean your aura. And I was just thinking, um, we can put all of this together in charm bags. We create the recipes together. We put all of this together. When I asked her if I can put this in the book, she was immediately like, yes, do it. Don't, any problem. And other recipes, I mean, the recipes that I put here for improve focus, mental clarity, creativity, 
Even uh, some respects that people don't like because are related with mental health when you are when you have anxiety or depression that I should put in the book that's the, the worst. I put it in the book because these charm bags are the things that I do for myself when I have this anxiety attack uh, or the last two times that I have attack of depression and I was uh, in a very dark place. Uh, especially when you are growing up being gay in a country where we don't have any visibility or protection from the government, you have a lot of anxiety. You live with anxiety every day of your life. So I was always doing channel bags for protection, for healing, for creativity, for clarity, for keep calm, for all, all of this stuff because it was my way to in some way coping with, 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 with the situation, with, with my own trauma. And I put all of this in the book. And also, my, I don't want to give the people, oh, this is a book of recipes on Sharmax. No, I want that you specialize in the magic because that's, that's the goal that you learn. So I put together in the book a whole section of herbs and flowers and trees and a section of crystals and minerals, a section of um, oils, a section of incense, because in my country we are very esoteric people. We love witchcraft, we love brujería, we love magic. So I have the opportunity to learn so much in so many different schools. I put all of this together. I work, I, I paid the three, four and fifth semester of my career in the college working in a pharmacy, a homeopathic pharmacy. What's homeopathic pharmacy? So there I had the opportunity to learn about um, flower essences, about Batch, the Dr. Batch. And they teach me how to do the, the, uh, the flowers, the essences, all of this stuff. And I try to put even a little bit of that in the book. Uh, I worked in marketing for many years uh, and advertising, so I put a lot of that in the book too, chambers for selling, chambers for publicity, for advertising, for write your selling, for bring more money. I put all of that here. Um, what else? Oh, so many things. Chambers for love that works very well. Chambers for communication, chambers for protection that really helped me. I have these chambers that I made that they, they were pretty new uh, about dreams. Uh, uh, dreams and dreaming and the test for those charm bags was my husband when we were studying the relationship uh, I put these charm bags under our pillows together and when we go to sleep in the next morning I asked him how do you sleep and I have a little nightmare and I was taking notes oh I have this I have this dream I don't remember my dream I remember very clearly my dream and I was taking notes all the time and I put all of these recipes here together. I try to put everything together here. And the moon faces, candle magic, because it was my first book with an American with an American publisher, so I was trying to make it good. Uh, what is important is not is not selling the book now. I want my, my plan every time that I sit down to make a book is I don't want a book that sells now. I want a book that in 10, 20 years people remember. In 30 years people remember. Um, but also that the book represents my perspective. Uh, that the book represents my experience. Because it's many books just repeating over and over the same stuff. And I just try to do something. This is what we do, how we do it, when we do it, why we do it in all countries. And I just put all of this together in the book. Uh, and I'm very proud of it. Uh, and I'm very proud to have the endorsement of Adam Sarwell because I'm, I am his fan in the book. Uh, if it's, is this a book that I will buy? Yes. Is this a book that if I were pretty new in witchcraft and I go to the market, to any store, and I see this book in order in the gorgeous cover, just for the title and the concept, is the book that I would like to buy. Uh, so, that for now. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Stay safe, stay well, stay kind, stay wild. And be kind with everyone else. Including your haters. They need love. They obviously need love.
that reason is why they are reflecting so much hate. Bye.